Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I have another haul. It's from Nordstrom Rack. So I got three fall cardigans. I think cardigans are great things to add to your wardrobe because you just put it on top and you can continue to wear whatever you are loving during spring and summer. All the cardigans that I already have are more formal looking like the one I'm wearing today. So when I went shopping, I intentionally looked for something more fun and casual. I also got three pairs of shoes that are work appropriate. A fun fact about me, or rather a sad fact, is that when I first came here to the States, I was doing my master's and one day after a class, I think I got so excited and I just ran down the stairs and fell really, really bad. And because the student health insurance really suck, for primary care purposes, it's okay. But as soon as you have to go see a specialist, I think I was responsible for like 70% copay, which is ridiculous. So long story short, I didn't go see a doctor. And ever since then, my ankle really hurts whenever I'm wearing a high heel. So all of the shoes that I got today are really comfortable. So if you're looking for something like that as well, stay tuned till the end. If you're interested in any of the items that I'm mentioning today, I will leave links to everything in the description box below. And without any further ado, let's get started. The first one is this cable knit cardigan. Um, it's from a brand called RDI. It comes in multiple colors, white, navy, um, I think they call it dark storm, yellow and black, I think. And I got it in this white color. Uh, it's more of a grayish ivory color than a stark white, so it will go with everything. Uh, they also come in petite sizes if you're interested, but it's kind of uh, boxy and oversized, which I like because if you pair it with the right stuff, uh, that can make you look smaller inside. What drew me into it was um, this chunky cable knit pattern and also just from how loosely knitted it is, it just looks like something my grandmother would have handmade for me. Uh, it just feels so cozy and it is so soft and will be a great layering piece. It's a cropped design, so how I would style it is um, I have this midi dress from H&M that I got last year. It's a tad bit too long on me, so it kind of looks awkward and overwhelming in some places. So I'm going to pair this cardigan on top to break it up and give an illusion that my legs are longer. The price was $34.99, so it's really affordable. Um, I just like everything about this cardigan. This button is really cute as well. It's a natural looking wood pattern, which goes really well with the whole vibe. And I also like this V shape in the back. Um, so when you have your hair up, it gives you that feminine look. The next cardigan is by Woven Heart. This one is even more affordable. It is $26.97. Uh, this one also comes in many different colors, olive, mauve, light gray, and indigo. Very cute. I mean, look at this detail. It has this eyelash design, so it looks very fuzzy and cozy. I like how baggy it is, this you know, rounded arm and the waist detail, and the color is really gorgeous. I wore this out on a Halloween day and I didn't dress up for anything particularly but everybody thought I was a pumpkin, which I thought was really funny. It's a chenille fabric so it is so soft, it's the only sweater you will want to wear this fall. The last cardigan is open front cashmere cardigan. I've been looking for cashmere cardigan or sweater for a long time. Personally, I really love cashmere. It's really lightweight, but it keeps you warm, so it is a great piece to layer underneath coat or jacket in the winter. This one also comes in pebble, um, dark gray, black, and blue, but I got this in red wine color because I like burgundy to begin with, and it will give a nice pop of color since all I wear during the winter is black and gray. The price was really good as well. I rarely see cashmere sweater priced under $100 and this one was $69.97. And I gotta be honest, it's not too thick. It was more on the thinner side, but I think that makes it even better as a layering piece and it was plenty warm. The length is perfect as well. It is long enough to cover your bum, but also short enough so it doesn't show when you wear a coat on top. And it comes with two front pockets. I love anything with pockets. 
and it's cut generously so I got it in medium but it fits more like a large but I don't mind it because I plan to wear it with a belt anyway and I think that's a great thing about these open front cardigans that it's so versatile you can wear it open if you want comfy but just adding a nice slim belt will dress up the whole look and also make you look slimmer by giving you that proportion Now I'm going to show you the shoes. Uh, first one is this Tristan leather pump from Sam Adamin. I like Sam Adamin shoes. I own several pairs already and I'm never disappointed. They are very on trend and I don't know what their secret is but their pumps are just so comfortable. This heel is about 3 inches. I mean it's not that low either. It's not a kitten heel. It comes with double padded footbed and even though this is a pointed toe, it's not too tight so I can stand in these all day long at work with no issues. I like this camel color as well. They are a bit darker than your typical nude shade which I think is more sexy and it also matches my skin tone more naturally and helps with elongating my legs. Now if you want an ultimate comfort, this is it. It's a mid-tone pump from Marc Joseph, which to be honest, I've never heard about, but as soon as I put this on, I knew I had to have it. It is made in Brazil. No wonder it's so comfortable. Brazil is known for their leather goods, and I remember one year we went on a business trip and everyone came back with multiple bags and shoes. It has great arch support. The footbed has different level of cushions, so they just mold into your feet perfectly. Your foot naturally has some arch, but a lot of sneakers, and same thing with the ballet flats, they're just plain flat, which can be painful after a while because there is no arch support. The leather insole is perforated so you don't sweat as much, and the bottom sole is made with rubber with some grip so you won't slip and fall. It comes with a blocked heel which gives your foot and ankle more stability so you're not wobbling around. Um, it is a rounded toe which is not my favorite style so I hesitated getting these shoes in the beginning and I was worried it was making me look older but I think they did a wonderful job by using a patent leather here instead of smooth leather. It looks more chic and sophisticated. It's so comfortable, I can literally run in these. The last one is this grown-up version of jelly shoes. I love these so much. It has that typical light candy scent that all Melissa shoes have. And it is so cute, it just makes me happy whenever I wear them. Because the rubber is not too shiny and higher quality, they're deceiving and works great for both casual and business purposes. This is great for rainy season but easy to wear all year round. And I like the bow detail and gold accent as well. I get so many compliments whenever I wear them. The only downside is they do make your feet sweat and therefore you can end up with smelly feet. But the peep toe does help a little bit and it is just so easy to clean. For size references, um, I wear anywhere from size 7 to 7.5 and, and in the previous two pumps I got both in 7.5 and, and I got this Melissa shoes in size 7 and they all fit perfectly. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell.